Hello, everybody. This is John Carlo here. Uh, I hope everybody's having a good Wednesday. Uh, I will be getting started momentarily. Want everybody else to funnel in here, but while we wait, um, I'm just going to keep getting everything set up. Thank you. All right, everybody, I will get started. Uh, thank you, everybody, for showing up today. And as always, derivatives trading carries a high degree of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. All right, today we'll be keeping it simple. Uh, an intro to Edge ProX, an intro to Edge Clear. Uh, heat map settings, and then a Q&A as we always do. So, all right, let's move forward. So what is Edge Pro X? Edge Pro X is a all-in-one solution for active traders with MBO capabilities, volume profile and TPOs, native order flow tools, fully functional with 300 plus indicators and studies. Uh, there is indicator layering native to Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, uh, runs on Rhythmic, CQG, and IQ feed. All features are available for the low price of $34.99 per month. Uh, it also has the heat map, volume imprint, volume profile, TPOs, and market profiles, advanced DOM, simulated trading, replay mode, cross instrument trading, cloud levels, edge pro line, OHLC lines, time and sales, and then, as always, the 300 plus indicators. What is EdgeClear? EdgeClear is an independent futures brokerage uh, created by traders for traders with an award-winning team, multiple clearing relationships, experienced team, and founder, Futures Trader 71. Uh, we are continuously innovating and building. We're trader-inspired here. So what I'll be going over today is the heat map settings. Um, so our heat map looks like this. And it is actually the first thing you will see when you open up the platform. Um, that most of the settings inside of Edge Pro X are quite robust and very customizable. So I figured I would go through all of the different settings and all of the different things that you can do within our heat map and then um, take a Q&A as I always do. So looking at the heat map here, if, in order to access the settings, you can either uh, double click on the colored lines and it'll bring up chart settings. Uh, these are different than your actual heat map settings. So in order to get to the actual heat map settings, you'll need to go up and click on this cog wheel at the top and then select all settings. So the this menu right here is just like a, like a quick toggle to change like for example the, the heat map coloring so if i wanted to change the heat map from here to like a grayish uh heat map i can change the color there change it back to what i originally had it to the opacity i can change that as well if you want it to be you know unvisible and then you can kind of just scale it up as so to make it brighter um i usually keep it at the 50 percent uh and then this filter here changes the heat map so you can only see the large order so it's the minimum size filter so if you're putting it up at like 95 to 100 percent you're only going to see the large orders and then as you go down you'll more of the smaller order sizes will become visible so we'll keep it at you know the 50 percent and um the max size filter this is going to i believe as we go up it's you'll see it's going to replace the large orders with the smaller ones and so it's replacing the large lots with the um smaller lots so bring that back down to like 80 percent here whatever that is scale visible only is going to uh scale the chart so that your heat map is uh properly within the parameters on your screen. 
Um, so it's, you know, if you don't, so it's, there's not like an order all the way at the top here. It doesn't, you know, read that at the top and then uh, extend latest DOM. And so we'll go into the all settings and there's, you know, not that much going on here um, as some of the other indicators. Uh, like, for example, the volume imprint has a lot going on while this is pretty uh, simple. I pretty much went over everything as it is. Um, the only thing that's really left is the max history. So how far back do you want your heat map reading? Um, so I have mine set to a thousand. So after if I close this out and scroll out, I'm able to read upwards of a thousand bars back. Um, where so like the heat map itself so that's why the lines stop here it's because it's going only a thousand uh meters back and then it's deleting this information to fill in uh current information so as you can see i can zoom in and out i'm just doing that with my mouse wheel zooming in and out so if, as we get closer we'll get right about there that's what the um max history does is it basically saying how far back do you want your information to be read um, max depth levels uh, I have it at show all uh, the depth levels are the colors that you're seeing so if I untoggle this from the Dom sh scrunch this down like so there we go I can basically scroll all the way up and all the way down on the uh, the chart and I can see basically orders that are resting at very, very far out numbers as you can see up here. So that's what the, I have it as show all, but you know, you can configure that to what you'd like. Uh, let's configure this back to the, this button right here, syncs the heat map to the DOM. Um, and then as always, if I'm going over something that you want me to touch more on, or if you have questions on this as I'm going, just uh, put the question in the chat box and I'll get to it. All right, go back to the all settings and then um, the min order size is a pretty cool feature. It is going to ca basically cancel out any orders that are smaller than um, 50 or whatever you configure it to. So if you only want to see, you know, orders that are greater than, let's say, 100, you can put this on and it will only show those orders that are greater than 100. So update. And so now you'll see it fills and changes the colors of everything. So that's another cool feature of our heat map is uh, the ability to really customize this and be able to see. You can also put a max order size as well. So you have, so you can change it with the filter or you can put in a very specific number. So, you know, you have your percentage here and the percentage here, or you can put in specific numbers and it grays out the bar. So that's one the one, thing that I think is uh, pretty pretty cool. If you have a very good idea of what you want to limit it to, that's how you can essentially uh, make that possible. And then the last thing on here, uh, your lines. So like, for example, if I will put on, let's make it very distinct white lines update, you'll see that there's lines that appear separating each of the bars or the boxes. I rarely see that people like to put these on. It can be very distracting and can kind of hurt my eyes. Um, so then going over the options, uh, this is just um, simple, just showing the bar size. So whatever you have available on your, your charts, that's what the heat map is going to be reading as your bar size. So as I, for example, if I were to go out 800 milliseconds, now the, the chart's going to read 800 milliseconds. If I go in, to 200, 100, it's going to change the chart to read that specific in uh, time interval. <clears throat> Going to, again, back to options, um, show legend, that's just up here showing the legend. Um, and then that is just about everything that you would need to use in here. Um, if there's any questions or anything that you feel uh, you wanted to know about in terms of the heat map, let me know. Um, the last thing that I guess I can touch on here is that you can actually customize the colors of the heat map to be your own colors. Um, so if you go to the drop down menu, more colors, 
you have the ability to change the gradient to whatever color like schematic you want it to be. So you can change this and phase fade it to be a green color if you want to, whatever it may be. Or you can even add in colors. So I can add in a, a lot more colors if I wanted to. <clears throat> so that's basically the heat map settings. And this kind of the way that I went through the settings, it's very similar for all of the the different indicators and uh, the indicators that we have available. We have 300 plus indicators, so it's kind of similar to adjusting all of those settings. So you see here, I'm going to the big tray, it's all settings. You see it's kind of similar to each one. So you can kind of go through each of these and see how they're all pretty similar in terms of how you would adjust the settings and the capabilities you have with each of these specific um, indicators. So that is what I had for the heat map. Um, there were no questions submitted prior to this. So I usually would go through the questions that were submitted prior, and then um, I would take a Q&A from the crowd. But since there weren't any questions submitted prior, if there's any questions that anybody has in here, uh, please let me know now, and then I can answer those live for you. And these questions can be about Edge Pro X or specifically if there's a, you know new people here who don't know about much about Edge Clear as well, you can ask those questions too. Just uh, shoot that question into the chat box and then I can get to those. Go back here so you can see this. And it looks like there's no questions about the heat map or anything else at all. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, go forward. So if there are any questions, if you know a question comes up and you know you're, you don't know where to go, you can go to, or you don't know how to answer, you can go to our knowledge base. We do have a knowledge base at support.edgeclear.com. This covers, this knowledge base will cover the basic material on Edge Pro X. Uh, you can also email us at edgeprox at edgeclear.com. You can give us a call at this number, 773-832-8320. Um, that is the number that we will be able to answer any questions you may have about Edge Pro X. So someone actually did ask a question. All right, let's go back. So how, do you find orders that have filled? Um, there's multiple ways you can do this. Um, so let's say, for example, if I place a couple buy, sell, you know, buy three, just buy a bunch of orders here. All right. Now you can use the Edge Pro line to see that you're in a position. So you can see this line here that is uh, moving. Let's say if I sell here, you'll see this is showing my average uh, entry and exit price. So if I just sell there now it's showing that you know this was where i entered and then it's showing my break even relative to the actual price that's one way that you can actually set that up uh cancel all. let's close that out and then the other way you can check it out is if you add the this box here at the top it will show exactly where your orders filled at so you know bought i bought uh, I think it's right here. Yeah, so I bought three here and then one here, and then I sold one here, one here, and then one here. So, or two here and then one here, one here. So this is another way you can view the filled orders. Oh, okay, sorry. All right, so then this is uh, how you would view it on the chart. And then, you can go down to the bottom if you see on the bottom of my screen account info and you'll see all of the orders i just put on right here trades so right now i just put in about i think it was uh four and then four so i bought one two three four and then i sold one two three four so oh yeah right here so you can see that here so this is the area that you would go uh to locate that information the, another way you can do it is going to close positions. Uh, you can see here that uh, this is my total PL on that contract thus far. 
um, filled is another way to do that. So you see that four buys, four sell. This is the screen or the tab that you would use to locate that information and check the filled orders, the trade history, or you can even use this trade report. The trade report is going to show, it's not going to show and it won't update live, but if you generate a report, it's going to generate a report based on the information that's already been uh, provided. Going back to the date that you set it to, obviously, as well. Um, so this information, though, is not going to update in real time. So if you go to trades, you'll see that I do have the four uh, trades here, um, but it's not going to continue to update in real time. It's going to be uh, it, it's going to be a lagging and essentially trade report. So I'd have to continuously generate the report in order for it to populate any new buy or sell. So if like I go back and I buy one and then I flatten all again. Cool. Boom, we flatten. Now we go back. If I don't update it, you'll you won't see that order here. So that's something that I'll, you know you should keep in mind while you're using this information is that this here is going to update in real time. So if I move this here, you'll see that I I've populated it so that the most recent is at the top. So you buy sell. This is at the top, and then we have another one here. Buy sell. This updates in real time. However, this does not. So I have to generate again in order for us to see, oh, there it is. <clears throat> so hope this provides you know, better insight on how to locate this information. Awesome. Well, this is where you can find uh, some more helpful uh, knowledge on Edge Pro X, and you can also head over to the YouTube channel. Uh, we do have a uh, channel on YouTube where all these videos go, um, and you can watch the this video and all the other videos that I've made in the past. Those could be helpful to learning the platform or answering previous questions or just questions that you may have. I would go check that out, and uh, that is all I had for you guys. So if there's no other questions from you then we can end this uh, early today. Awesome. Well, it was uh, great having everybody here today. Uh, I will end this and then we will post this on the YouTube channel. If there's something that you may have missed, uh, you can always head over to that YouTube channel, just watch the video. You can fast forward through it and uh, to get to what the information that you're looking for. Thanks everybody for coming and I hope everybody has a great Wednesday. Cheers.